when the call came to me when I was young, I put the phone on hold. Put the phone on hold for a decade or more. I found the calling again one day while sitting at the Vatican of all places. <laughs> the Sistine Chapel is not to be missed. And it will remind you of how small you are and how big you are. I'd like to read a poem to you that says all of those things and more. It uses language that the Southern region of the Unitarian Universalist Association uses very often, of which I was very blessed to start my ministry in. And I'd like to thank so many people, but there isn't time. So I say thank you to all who have helped me along my path, who have prodded me when I needed it, and reminded me that I was worthy of this work. My partner is at home, and I'm hoping he's seeing this now because he was instrumental in this, as was my mother who is sitting here with us here today. The Scorpio moon draws the circle nigh, life, death, rebirth, all in harmony, Unless, unless I am carrying what is no longer needed, unless you are unwilling to give up what does not serve, unless we are happily homeostatic and unwanting to change. The Scorpio moon draws the circle nigh, life, death, rebirth, all in hope, in spite of, in spite of my inner cowardice and outward strength, in spite of your wounds, open and raw to the very breath of existence, in spite of our shortcomings, flaws, and imperfections. The Scorpio moon draws the circle nigh, life, death, rebirth, all in synchronicity because, because I am blessed and filled with transcendent grace, because you have every tool at your disposal, both mortal and divine because we are holy, because we are whole. <laughs>